The Indiana Big Day has been very good to Red Cox Racing over the years. Uh, used to be with the undercard stakes. Mm -hmm. Then last year you swept the two big races and now you're coming back in both those again. Talk about your two horses that you've got going. Well, we have uh, Folsom in the Derby. He came off a victory, come off a victory in the mat win. Before that, he won the um, Oakland um, Stakes at Oakland as well. So, you know, he transferred over to the dirt well uh, in April at Keeneland. Um, an off the turf race, which you know, glad it came off the turf and was in the mud. And he gives us the confidence to, you know, press forward on the dirt. So it's been it's been very rewarding this spring, and uh, you know, looking forward. He's coming up to this race really well. He's going to breeze tomorrow here at Churchill, and then ship uh, probably uh, Sunday evening to Indiana. But he he's doing really well. Very pleased with how he's been training. He started out on grass. Did you think he was a grass horse? I mean, um, he, or did you want the mild distance and that was grass? A, li a little bit of both. Um, he he just never. Uh, shine a whole lot early on. Um, he was just chasing mandolin around there as <laughs> in last fall, and uh, you know, it just took him a little while to come to hand. He's not a real big horse. I thought the grass might be a little kinder on him. He'd handle it a little better. He ran well on the grass. He obviously broke his maiden on it, but uh, you know, he definitely has stepped up on the dirt and uh, you know, moved forward. So, you know, great that we actually, I would say, got lucky and you know, fell into the spot. He's another homebred for um, Judmont. Just, just Talk about the year you're having for them, and then talk about uh, uh, just their breeding program. Yeah, no, they, uh, you know, we, we've had a tremendous amount of uh, luck this year. Um, you know, from you know, Bonnie South, from obviously Mandolin, Folsom. Um, you know, we got a, um, a nice maiden that um, has yet, to, or has made one start here that we think is a nice horse to call that'll make his way up to Saratoga. Set piece. So, you know, we've had we've had a good run, and you know, with obviously the program they have it's been you know it's it's an international breeding program not just you know a local thing and it's uh you know just deep pedigrees um, all the way down the page so uh, and you know the pedigrees can go both ways turf and dirt so i'm just excited to uh you know um, be in a position with you know a very very good group of horses and uh, some young prospects coming up we have several babies that we're looking forward to getting started later in the year that are you know going through their their paces and training and their mini boot camp there at Keeneland. So uh, things are going really well. And you have Mary and Francis going in the Indian Oaks. Mm -hmm. Yep. She, uh, come off a win here. She's a PA bred that uh, has, uh, you know, never run a bad race. Um, always shows up a very consistent Billy. Uh, she's looking, we we'll, we'll need her to step up and take another step forward um, in the Indian Oaks next Wednesday. But, you know, we think it's definitely possible. She's training well. She's actually been stable there and uh, she shipped up down here to Churchill for her last uh, victory it was a 1x going at one turn mile and uh, you know hoping that you know she can put it all together next Wednesday she'll be tough. Can you sort of talk about what that day of racing has done for your uh, your career early on like I said you had some big undercard yeah. performances there. And yeah we, I think it used to be run later in the evening um, but yeah it's it's been good to us in regards to like you know just some of these um, you know, undercard stakes, not just the Kentucky, or not just the Indiana Oaks and the Indiana Derby, but the undercard races, um, the, like I think Pioneer Spirit won the Schaefer twice, My Lady Curlin, I mean, those are all horses that competed at the graded stake level, and, you know, it really fills a spot where, you know, around here where there may not be a race at Ellis, or you, you, you don't have to ship 10 hours, or, you know, you don't feel like your horse is quite Saratoga caliber or something, so it really, really fits well here um, with the conclusion of the Churchill meet. Um, you know, as a, as a place to run a good horse in, in, in the summertime.